I worked 46 years for the Air Force, and I did a great job for the Air Force. Uh, I worked uh, day and night, you know, and, and did well for them, made sure that the that whatever it is that they needed, you know, that they got. And I gave it 110%. I retired in 1992 in, in, a, in a contaminated neighborhood when I started asking for, you know, what can you do about cleaning it up? It wasn't there. Uh, and then they, the, the denial that it, it would take 100 years, and I only lived about 800 yards from Kelly Air Force Base, for that contamination to reach my home. That there was no contaminate, that there was no water where I lived. That I lived in a little island, where there was no water in it. Uh, so th those kinds of things uh, upset me and, and caused me to be hard-headed and, and prove that the Air Force was wrong. That my home was contaminated. That there was affecting my property values. The contamination was, and and that they should do something about it. They denied all of that, so I had to, I drilled the well, like I said before, found water in it, found it to be contaminated. Kelly still denies it. They have deep pockets, and those deep pockets come from taxpayers' monies. And they're using that, those monies for a great public uh, uh, relations deal about how great the Air Force, how great a job they're doing in cleaning up the environment, and, and trying to keep bad publicity away from them. They, they just don't want to do that. Recently, they have admitted that they did contaminate some of the neighborhoods and that there are plans to clean them up. The little committee that I'm working with is the Committee for Health and Environmental Justice has also done a lot of good. We have partnered, this little committee has partnered with the health department and with the University of Texas Medical System here uh, St. Mary's um, University and Our Lady of the Lake College with the students there, and they have helped in, in getting these things done, especially on the health issues of the people.